Welcome, bro. How you doing, man? Doing well. Yes, sir. All right, so welcome to the spot. I'm just gonna show you. I'm getting ready for the gym, so I'm just mixing up my BCA a little bit. And then let me show you the basement real quick. Let's go. Ooh. This is the little office. Let me show my laundry. <laughs> Watch out here, bro. I'm coming through. All right, so this is gonna be where I'm gonna be shooting my videos, my future videos. So I'm gonna be shooting here every day. Um, that's why I'm gonna have this set up right now. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting home workouts uh, for people that wanna work out from home. You know, just to kind of you know do it a different kind of dynamic. Uh, for my online space and my YouTube page and my Instagram platform. So I'm really excited. You know, I just got my homies on the, on the wall. Got LeBron and the, the man himself a lot. So, and then right here, I got the merch. Is there, you know, if you're wearing this, you know, you're doing something right, you know what I'm saying? So that's the black and this is the white one I'm wearing right now. They're very comfortable. They're dope to exercising. All right, so for this week training, I'm doing strength, so, for anyone that is not familiar with strength training, or at least how I do my strength training, I try to do four sets, and I will do maximum three to six reps. And I just normally do strength weights to kind of just see how strong I have gotten from the last previous four weeks. I try to kind of cycle through it, uh, depending on what my workout program is for the month. <laughs> we just got to the gym. So, uh, like I said earlier, uh, I'm doing strength this week. And just to clarify that, I do three different kind of training. I do strength, endurance, and apostrophe. And for my endurance rep um, sessions, I normally do 20 reps around four sets. And then for my apostrophe, which is kind of what most people do, I do eight to 12 reps, and I do that for four sets as well. And for my, for my strength, like I said earlier, I'm doing four sets, maximum six reps. The difference thing uh, in these exercises is their break time is different. For my strength, I try to take longer breaks, so around one minute. But today you're gonna see, even during my break to get the most out of my workout, I'm gonna be doing something like an alternate muscle group. So if I'm doing biceps, during my break, I will be doing triceps. That way, but the, but the tricep workout won't be as heavy as the bicep one. So that's kind of how I leverage and I kind of make sure that I'm still productive during my time at the gym. Because I just can't, you know, take in one minute and just be on my phone and be distracted. It's kind of mess with my full flow and sometimes it just kind of take me out of the workout. So what I do is I either do abs during my break, during my strength week, or I will do an alternate muscle group. So I hope this is helpful. Anyways, I'm about to get it in. I'm about to get my workout in. All right, see you inside. For my stress session, I normally do one warm-up session, and that will be around like 20 reps. I don't count that as my rep, much as my as a set. I just kind of count that as a, more of my extended warm-up. So that's gonna be what I'm gonna be doing here. But I'm gonna be supersetting this exercise. I'm gonna be end up doing heavier uh, for the tricep pull-down, and I'm gonna be doing lighter weight for the bicep. So the bicep will be around um, 15 reps, kind of lightweight. Again, that's supposed to be my break time, but I'm just doing that so that way. I don't have to wait for the whole minute. But for here, I'm not gonna be going heavy. I'm gonna be increasing my weight as this set progresses. And I'm gonna try and get like three reps of something very heavy. All right, let's get it. At the end of that last exercise, you know, I didn't get as much reps as I want. I only got three. But that's what you do on a strength week or a strength day. You're just trying to see how much you can go, just trying to test yourself. That's the whole point. So now I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do triceps. It's gonna be my lighter exercise. And biceps gonna be my heavier one. I'm doing dips, play dips for my triceps. And I'm going to be doing dumbbell curls for my, for my uh, biceps. So tricep is heavy this time, and bicep is lighter. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be pushing for maybe four plates on the dips, and I will try and do something like, like 20 pounds on the bicep curl. All 
right, so I just finished my heavy dumbbell hammer um, calls. So if you're doing this one, make sure like, you know, you start with something you're comfortable with. Well, as you can see, uh, my form was not perfect on the 80 pounds, but you know, that's kind of what straight weight is for. I'm kind of trying myself. And my last two exercises for my session. That's gonna be my nine and tenth exercise. So I try to focus more on abs at the end of my exercise. At the same time, still working out the arms. So for the first call, that's actually a Joe Donnell workout. Um, and I kind of copy from his exercise. I like this call because I'm using my forearm a lot. And when I'm putting that heavier weight, it really forced me to really use my, my front arms muscles a lot. And then uh, for the stability ball push out, that one just works my core. At the same time, get a little bit of my triceps because I'm, I'm laying on my elbow and I'm pressing outside. But at the same time, I don't feel it too much in my triceps. I feel it mostly in my core. So again, just to get some core exercise at the end of the session. All right, so that's a wrap. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Come back more for more videos. Bless up.